السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ان دا نیم اف اللہ دا موسٹ بینیفیسنٹ دا موسٹ مرسفل ویلکم ٹو دا ہیڈ ماسٹرز ڈائری اف فیسینیٹنگ اینڈ انجوائبل اسٹوریز اینڈ لیسنز بولنگ ہیز بیکم اے بگر اینڈ مور ڈینجرس پارٹ اف آور لائف دا یوز اف سوشل میڈیا ہیز پلیس اس ان ویری ونربل سچویشنز اینڈ ہیز انوائٹڈ آل فارمز اف بولنگ سم می تھنک دیٹ یو ہیو ہرڈ دا اسٹوری سو مینی ٹائمز And that is so boring, so tedious. I know certainly the children in my school, whenever they hear about bullying, they say I, this again. So does bullying affect you? The answer is yes. It affects all of us. As Muslims, we are encouraged not only to seek the help from others, but also to help those in need. Not even our beloved Prophet was safe from bullying. When we consider the amount of abuse that he suffered, you can see the perfect example of how to react. We may not have the patience that he had, but we must strive to follow his sunnah and his character. Let's start with the victim. If you feel that you are being bullied, here are some simple and effective ways to deal with the bully. Avoid the bully by trying to avoid face-to-face encounters with them. When you see them coming in one direction, you go in the next. To deal with this person, you must be brave. That means standing tall and being confident. It is important to know that you are the best version of yourself. So be confident in yourself. Know that you are strong on the inside and it will show on the outside. Surround yourself with good people. And try not to be on your own too often. If you find that this is not helping, you may choose to ignore the bully completely. Pretend that you don't hear them. walk away from them don't give them the reaction that they are looking for if this does not work stand up for yourself be firm and say no stop it's easy to get into a fight but it certainly is not encouraged in our religion if these methods work or do not work please speak to an adult as you may have noticed the methods that I've explained have also been used by the early Muslims and by the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they were bullied and persecuted in the early days of Islam in Mecca much more than we will ever experience in our life remember at the beginning i explained that bullying affects everybody we now come to the part where adults and friends can help a person who is bullied in another episode i discuss being a best friend with your child Your child should feel comfortable in coming to you for anything, for help, for advice, to have fun. It is important as parents and friends that we make the victim of bullying feel good about themselves. Support them and praise them. The bully will not do that for them. He will make them feel low. He will make them feel bad about themselves. The more you give them positive thoughts, the less likely it is for other people to make them feel differently about themselves if they do not have the positiveness in their life then negativity will fill that gap so always find reasons to praise your child as a parent you can try to actively involve yourself by interceding and speaking to the bully in very serious situations perhaps involving law enforcement it may be necessary remember It is your right to be safe no matter where you are. It is your right to be safe from harm from anybody else. But the worst thing to do is not to do nothing at all. It is up to us to support those people who are facing difficulty as we know that if we ease the lives of others then Allah the Almighty will grant us ease in our lives. And we should always stand together against evil in society. very important thing that i once heard somebody once said that for evil to succeed it only takes good people like you to stand by and do nothing at all may allah change our lives for the better and may he continue to bless you and your family and grant us the muslim ummah jannatul firdaus amin ya rabbal alamin assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh